Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 page 139 chapter 10 the story of cricket before you read sport is an integral part of healthy life it is one way in which we amuse ourselves compete with each other and stay fit among the various sports such as hockey football and tennis cricket appears to be the most appealing national entertainment today how much do we really know about the game called cricket cricket grew out of the many stick and ball games played in england 500 years ago the word bat is an old english word that simply means stick or club by the 17th century cricket had evolved enough to be recognizable as a distinct game till the middle of 18th century bats were roughly the same shape as hockey sticks curving outwards at the bottom there was a simple reason for this the ball was blown underarm along the ground and the curve at the end of the bat gave the batsman the best chance of making contact one of the peculiarities of cricket is that a test match can go on for 5 days and still end in a draw page 140 no other modern team sport takes even half as much time to complete a football match is generally over in an hour and a half even baseball completes 9 innings in less than half the time that it takes to play a limited overs match the shortened version of modern cricket another curious characteristic of cricket is that the length of the pitch is specified 22 yards but the size or the shape of the ground is not most other team sports such as hockey and football lay down the dimensions of the playing area cricket does not grounds can be oval like the adelaide oval or nearly circular like chepok in chennai a six at the melbourne cricket ground needs to clear much more ground than it does at firoz shah kotla in delhi there is a historical reason behind both these oddities cricket was the earliest modern team sport to be codified the first written laws of cricket were drawn up in 1744 they stated the principals shall choose from amongst the gentlemen present two umpires who shall absolutely decide all disputes the stumps must be 22 inches high and the bail across them 6 inches the ball must be between 5 and 6 ounces and the two sets of stumps 22 yards apart if you observe at the top of the page the oldest cricket bat in existence is shown note the curved end similar to a hockey stick word meanings draw means result of a game in which neither side wins nor loses baseball means game popular in the usa played with a bat and ball by two teams of nine players each on a field with four bases dimensions means length breadth etc oval means shaped like an egg codified means standardized with rules and regulations page 141 the world's first cricket club was formed in hambledon in the 1760s and the melbourne cricket club mcc 
was founded in 1787. During the 1760s and the 1770s, it became common to pitch the ball through the air rather than roll it along the ground. This change gave bowlers the options of length, deception through the air, plus increased pace. It also opened new possibilities for spin and swing. In response, batsmen had to master timing and shot selection. One immediate result was the replacement of the curved bat with the straight one. The weight of the ball was limited to between 5.5 to 5 and 3 quarter ounces and the width of the bat to 4 inches. In 1774, the first leg before law was published. Also around this time, a third stump became common. By 1780s, three days had become the length of a major match and this year also saw the creation of the first six-seam cricket ball. At the bottom, you may observe there is an image of the pavilion of Marylebone Cricket Club, MCC, in 1874. Word meanings Length means the distance from the batsman at which the ball pitches. Deception through the air means the ball is no longer rolled along the ground but sent through the air. Hence, the possible variety or deception in bowling. Short selection means choice of strokes. Page 142 If you look at the game's equipment, you can see how cricket both changed with changing times and yet fundamentally remained true to its origins in rural England. Cricket's most important tools are all made of natural, pre-industrial materials. The bat is made with leather, twine and cork. Even today, both bat and ball are handmade, not industrially manufactured. The material of the bat changed slightly over time. Once, it was cut out of a single piece of wood. Now, it consists of two pieces, the blade which is made out of the wood of the willow tree and the handle which is made out of cane that became available as European colonists and trading companies established themselves in Asia. Unlike golf and tennis, cricket has refused to remake its tools with industrial or man-made materials plastic, fiberglass and metal have been firmly rejected. You may observe a picture at the bottom of page 142. It shows a rough and ready cricket game being played in a village in the Himalayas in 1894. Notice the homemade wickets and bat carved out of rough bits of wood. Page 143 But in the matter of protective equipment, cricket has been influenced by technological change. The invention of vulcanized rubber led to the introduction of pads in 1848 and protective gloves soon afterwards and the modern game would be unimaginable without helmets made out of metal and synthetic lightweight materials. Comprehension Check Question 1 Cricket is originally a or an Number 1 Indian game Number 2 British game Number 3 International game Mark the right answer Question 2 There is a historical reason behind both these oddities in the preceding two paragraphs, find two words or phrases that mean the same as oddities. 
क्वेश्चन थ्री हाउ इज अ क्रिकेट बैट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ हॉकी स्टिक द ओरिजिन्स ऑफ क्रिकेट आर टू बी फाउंड इन बॉम्बे एंड द फर्स्ट इंडियन कम्युनिटी टू स्टार्ट प्लेइंग द गेम वॉज द स्मॉल कम्युनिटी ऑफ जोरास्ट्रियंस द पारसीज brought into close contact with the british because of their interest in trade and the first indian community to westernize the parsis founded the first indian cricket club the oriental cricket club in bombay 1848 page 144 parsi clubs were funded and sponsored by parsi businessmen like the tatas and the wadias The white cricket elite in India offered no help to the enthusiastic Parsis. In fact, there was a quarrel between the Bombay Gymkhana, a whites-only club, and Parsi cricketers over the use of a public park. The Parsis complained that the park was left unfit for cricket because the polo ponies of the Bombay Gymkhana dug up the surface. when it became clear that the colonial authorities were prejudiced in favor of their white compatriots the parsis built their own gymkhana to play cricket in the rivalry between the parsis and the bombay gymkhana had a happy ending for these pioneers of indian cricket a parsi team beat the bombay gymkhana at cricket in 1889 just 4 years after the foundation of the indian national congress in 1885 an organization that was lucky to have amongst its early leaders the great parsi statesman and intellectual dada bhai nairo ji notice at the end of page 144 there is an image of the parsi team the first indian cricket team to tour england in 1886 note that along with the traditional cricket flannels they wear parsi caps word meanings compatriots means fellow countrymen page 145 modern cricket is dominated by tests and one day internationals played between national teams the players who have become famous who live on in the memories of cricket's public are those who have played for their country the players indian fans remember even now are those who were fortunate enough to play test cricket c k naidu an outstanding indian batsman of his time lives on in the popular imagination when some of his great contemporaries like palwankar vithal and palwankar balu have been forgotten even though naidu was past his cricketing prime when he played for india in its first test matches against england starting in 1932 his place in india's cricket history is assured because he was the country's first test captain India entered the world of test cricket in 1932 a decade and a half before it became an independent nation you might see at the top of page 145 an image of palwankar balu who was born in 1875 at a time when indians were not allowed to play test cricket he was the greatest indian slow bowler of his time page 146 this was possible because test cricket from its origins in 1877 was organized as a contest between different parts of the british empire not sovereign nations the first test was played between england and australia when australia was still a white settler colony similarly the small countries of the caribbean that together make up the west indies team were british colonies till well after the second world war comprehension check write true or false against each of the following sentences number 
India joined the world of test cricket before independence. Number 2. The colonizers did nothing to encourage the Parsis in playing cricket. Number 3. Palwankar Balu was India's first test captain. Number 4. Australia played its first test against England as a sovereign nation. Television coverage changed cricket. It expanded the audience for the game by beaming cricket into small towns and villages. It also broadened cricket's social base. Children who had never previously had the chance to watch international cricket because they lived outside the big cities could now watch and learn by imitating their heroes. Page 147 the technology of satellite television and the worldwide reach of multinational television companies created a global market for cricket. Matches in Sydney could now be watched live in Surat. Since India had the largest viewership for the game amongst the cricket-playing nations and the largest market in the cricketing world, the game's centre of gravity shifted to South Asia. This shift was symbolised by the shifting of the ICC headquarters from London to tax-free Dubai. 150 years ago, the first Indian cricketers, the Parsis, had to struggle to find an open space to play in. Today, the global marketplace has made Indian players the best paid, most famous cricketers in the game. Men for whom the world is a stage. This transformation was made up of many smaller changes. The replacement of the gentlemanly amateur by the paid professional. The triumph of one-day game as it overshadowed test cricket in terms of popularity. And the remarkable changes in global commerce and technology. By Ram Chandra Guha Adapted from Chapter 7 of India and the Contemporary World 1, Textbook in History for Class 9, NCERT. Page 148. Comprehension Check. Question 1. A professional cricket player is one who makes a living by playing cricket. Find the opposite of word professional in the last paragraph. Question 2. In the triumph of one-day game, triumph means the one-day games, 1. Superiority to test cricket, 2. Inferiority to test cricket, 3. Achievement and success over test cricket, 4. Popularity among viewers. Mark the right answer. Question 3. The men for whom the world is a stage. Number 1. It refers to the famous cricket fields in the world. 2. It means that there are many cricket playing countries in the world. 3. It implies that cricketers are like actors and every cricket ground is like a stage on which the drama of cricket is enacted the world over. Mark the right answer. Working with the text. Question 1. Name some stick and ball games that you have witnessed or heard of. Question 2. The Parsis were the first Indian community to take to cricket. Why? Question 3. The rivalry between the Parsis and the Bombay Gymkhana had a happy ending for the former. What does a happy ending refer to? Question 4. Do you think cricket owes its present popularity to television? Justify your answer. Question 5. Why has cricket a large viewership in India, not in China or Russia? Question 6. What do you understand by the game's cricket equipment?
page 149 question 7 how is test cricket a unique game in many ways question 8 how is cricket different from other team games question 9 how have advances in technology affected the game of cricket question 10 explain how cricket changed with changing times and yet remained unchanged in some ways working with language number one word search 12 words associated with cricket are hidden in this grid six can be found horizontally and the remaining six vertically two words have been found for you clues to the hidden words are given below you may first draw the grid if you wish to there are eight rows and ten columns the first row has alphabets a o v e R, D, C, Q, A, M. Second row, Z, B, S, M, F, C, X, E, P, A. Third row, B, O, U, N, D, A, R, Y, N, I. Fourth row. A, W, O, S, T, U, M, P, E, D. Fifth row. L, U, I, P, G. L J R E Sixth row L E T X L H K A Z N Seventh row X D R A W T Y P, F, D. Eighth and last row is W, I, C, K, E, T, S, L, I, P. The two words that have already been found for you are ball, which begins from the third letter that is B, in column 1, row 3 and goes downwards in a vertical fashion following the letters A, L, L. The second word that has been found for you can be found in the last row from the seventh letter S in a horizontal fashion following the letters S L I P Clues to the hidden words are given below. Horizontal Number 1 6 deliveries Number 2 4 runs Number 3 Attacked while out of arena Number 4 No result Number 5 Stumps Number 6. Fielder to the off side of the wicket keeper. Vertical. Number 1. Stumps flying. Number 2. Back to the pavilion. Number 3. A lofty one. Number 4. Mid air mishap. Number 5. Not even one out of six. And number 6. Goes with bat. Page 150. Question 2. Add LY to the italicized words in each sentence. Rewrite the sentence using the new word. 
see the examples first example 1 he runs between wickets as if his legs were stiff answer he runs between the wickets stiffly example 2 why did the batsman swing the bat in such a violent manner answer Why did the batsman swing the bat so violently? Number 1. It is obvious that the work has not been done in a proper way. Number 2. He made the statement in a firm manner. Number 3. The job can be completed within a week in an easy way. Number 4. you did not play in a serious manner or else you would have won the match number 5 she recited the poem in a cheerful manner question 3 use the following phrases appropriately in place of the italicized words in the sentences given below phrases given in the box are as a matter of fact we had better see to it by accident as well number 1 actually i didn't intend to come to your place i reached here without planning number 2 sunil there is a letter for you in today's post There is one for me also. Number 3. Everybody thought I had composed the poem. The truth is my younger sister did it. Number 4. The doctor told the patient to make sure that he took his pills on time. Number 5. It will be better for us to plan our trip before setting out. page 151 speaking and writing question 1 complete each of the following words using gh ff or f then say each word clearly after your teacher number 1 e dash o r t number 2 dash a c t number 3 c o n dash e s s number 4 l a u dash i n g number 5 e n o u dash number 6 h a l dash number 7 s c r u dash number 8 r o u dash number 9 s t i dash l y number 10 d i dash e r e n c e number 11 s a dash e t y number 12 dash l u s h Question 2 Write two paragraphs describing a bus ride to watch a cricket match in a village use the following points add some of your own points 2 hour journey by bus an old and crowded bus friendly passengers visit to a village fair where the match is to be played the match between two village teams 
makeshift stumps, rough pitch and a rubber ball. The match was enjoyable but the trip was tiring. Box Do you know? Answer According to some botanists, plants are able to sense the vibrations of music through their stomata. How this occurs is not yet known. Yields of some crops are reported to have increased substantially when the plants were exposed to music. Many plant lovers, including Prince Charles of Britain, believe that talking to plants makes them grow better. Honeycomb You were just listening to this audiobook. Production Assistance Meenakshi Kukreti and Jagbandu Jana Recorded by Batilang Lingdo Technical Assistance Soumya Malik Produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India